sisters, brothers, all of you are so wonderful. Every one of us is someone who is really great. But what happens to us is, we are conditioned by what others are saying to us. That we should not allow. You're good in yourself. You're the best in yourself. Don't try to imitate someone else. No. We are all unique and unique in Jesus. Look at the parts of our body. They're all unique. They need not imitate another part. No. In the same way, we must not imitate anyone else, but only be Jesus. Be that unique self you are called to be in Jesus. And that's what it means to be a saint. You are not doing things, you are allowing him to do all things in you. Just as the different parts of our body, they don't do. They do what I want them to do. And so, each part cooperates with the body and is available for it so that the body, I, can do what it needs to be done with any part of our body. And they are all supportive. Because of all these parts, we are who we are. In the same way, all of us put together, we are in Jesus. And that's something that we have to open eyes to see. And that you can see only with the eyes of faith. Reason will help us to understand this. But once you have understood it, you have to surrender it to Jesus, who is us and we are him. That is what the saints did. But remember, he has paid a price for it. He has died for each one of us. Even before we commit a sin, remember we are already forgiven it. That's his love. You know, a parent does not want his child to fall into bad company or into something bad. So what do they do? They warn them, I tell you, don't do this. And what we will do? We will challenge them and do just that what they are telling us not to do. And so what happens to them? They get angry. They start saying all kinds of things. Why? Because you are doing this thing, the very thing that they are telling you not to do. So what they are afraid of? That you will be suffering. Why are you going into this suffering when I am warning you? So they are angry. So this is how the evil one tempts them and puts them also into sin. What must we do then? We must surrender what we are experiencing in the children. They are not listening. So, you just surrender this not listening to Jesus. So that your emotions, which are concerned for them, you are going to die to that. And that is what we need. Not to stand above it, but to go and empty yourself of it. And that's what self-emptying is. That's what dying to yourself is. So that Jesus can take hold of that person. So you are surrendering that person to Jesus. And that's what the saints realized. That not they, it is Jesus who does this. You think I can convert any one of you? No, I can't. I can't convert my own self. I know what I have to do, but I can't do it. I have to rely on him. Nothing can we do by ourselves. It is only the grace of God that helps us. This realization is what will make us saints. To know that in humility, knowing that we can't do anything, that only God can do it, that is how it is. Do, you, do these parts know that they have to be totally humble so that they don't exist, they exist for me. So also we must exist for Jesus. Only then can he live in us and we enjoy the goodness that he has attained for us. So what was I saying to you? Even before we sin, God has already died 
in Jesus to set us free from it. And therefore, it is so easy just to be humble and say, Lord, help me to transcend this state. My thinking, my way of acting, my way of behaving, I surrender it to you. And remember, as you keep doing this at every breath, surrendering it to Jesus in his name, you will start getting the energy to see it clearly now and to be able to respond to it. That's where the mind gets enlightened. Otherwise, the mind was in darkness. So when you surrender it to Jesus, then you get the enlightenment and then he will show you what he wants to do in us. And what do we do? Be it done to me according to your word. And that's why Mother Mary for us is the highest saint example to imitate. And every one of the saints has imitated her. And remember how our brothers and sisters are negating her. How can they do it? <coughs> that they've not been able to see. They've gone blind. But we must pray for them. And everyone, whoever is saying or doing anything, good, bad, ugly, just surrender them to Jesus and he will take care of it. Because he has died for each one of us. And when we do this, we become saints. We die to ourselves and we live for Jesus. So, what is being a saint? Living the life of Jesus. His life, his suffering, his death and his resurrection. That is what happens in every interaction of ours. If you look at it and analyze it. And that's what I would like you to take to prayer. To, to know that all of us are saints. All we need to do is be humble, be simple and allow him to live, love and work through our thoughts, our words and our deeds. This is possible. And I know that many of you are living it. You get frustrated. Remember that frustration is an opportunity to die to it. To die to yourself. Even the good things that you want the child to do or the other, your husband or your wife or neighbors want to do, you surrender it to Jesus. Because we can't do it. But Jesus has done it and he will do it when we make him present in the situation. That's what saints do. What did St. Francis Xavier do? He just did that. He realized it. First he wanted to do it himself. Then he realized, no. St. Ignatius told him, no Baba, that's not the way to go. Jesus will do it through you and that's more powerful. And that's what he understood just before coming to India. And when he came to India, all along the way, he was just doing that. Allowing Jesus. And that's why he would spend time in prayer. For us, the whole day is prayer. How? All the time we are living in him, moving in him and having our being in him. When you realize this, then your convictions to live Jesus will become strong. And that's how the saints have lived. Look at all of them and you'll say, marvelous. Look at our parents. They have done this. And we can see also why they fell into sin because of us. That is what happened to them. Oh, in their relationship. Oh, in the relationship with the in-laws. These things are there. All sin structures but we have not to be afraid of them. Take them to Jesus and he will transform everything. May take long time as it did for Monica when he, she was married to Patricius and he was such a horrible man. But within a few years, 8 to 10 years or 18 years, he was converted. Son took even more time and he was also converted. But she kept on. Constantly praying, sacrificing, doing things, not falling into the temptation, but bringing the temptations to Jesus and allowing him to take the situation under control, his control. Let us hold our hands like this, close our eyes and thank the Lord for the countless saints who have died and who are living. All who are in Jesus and know that Jesus is in them, that he is the love of the Father in our hearts.
That's something that all of us are longing for. But the more we surrender ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings, our everything, our behavioral patterns, what people tell us, sometimes we get angry, irritated. That's exactly what we have to surrender. Because that's the opportunity you have to die to yourself and to rise in Jesus. Living the Paschal mystery, his life, suffering, death and resurrection. And we will become more and more perfected in through with Jesus and he will he is the way to the Father. Thank you, Lord, that you have enlightened us. We know all of this, but help us to put it into practice. Amen.